Good morning and the win forever and ever, people of grace. <coughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> yes, they are still on the throne. They are still protecting us. They will never change and the Holy Spirit to protect and pray for us. So good morning and continue to win. Holy Spirit will love you. So let's welcome him and tell him I will love him for praying for us. I will love him and thank him every day because he prayed for us in the realm. He intercedes that darkness mustn't overpower us. He gives us strength. Holy Spirit will welcome you. We love you, Spirit of my Father. Continue, Father, to do good as it's written in the book of Matthew. Jesus Christ continue to do good. We love you, Daddy. You protect us, you fight for us, you heal us. Father, you put shame to darkness and wicked, evil enemies. Those are satanic agents. My Father, you are worthy. This morning, we appreciate you. Son of David, come and take control. Fill the atmosphere. Search and destroy all satanic forces the plan of darkness that are busy cursing the mouth demons great demons father we know that you alone you alone we will conquer and thank you for all the revelations that holy spirit you are showing us you are the lord of the lord we love you daddy we adore you but though darkness is fighting your children blocking, resisting them, all their inheritance. You are there and you have a final say. We love you. Come and take control and lead us in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for caring. We shall continue to endure because, Father, we are victorious and we shall win. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you. Amen. You are welcome, people of grace, beloved sons and daughters of the Most High. Yes, it's Friday. Do not forget yesterday why I was quiet. Don't forget. Don't ever forget. Thursday, I feed the needy. I have to go and cook and go and give them in the street some food. Yes. So when I come back to clean everything and to put it in back into where it was, it's not an easy task, especially when you do it and you are alone in the house. There's no one to assist. So, but God is with us. And I know that God loves you. Yes. We are reading our script in the book of Luke 11. Luke 11. We'll start from verse 1 until verse um, 7. 1 to 7. We are speaking. We are speaking. No, sorry. Luke 12, verse 1 to 11. It's 1 to 12. Sorry, 1 to 11. Luke 12. From verse 1 to 11. Let's quickly read it. I don't want to take long today. I don't want to take long. But I have a reason that doesn't want me to take long. It's when you do God's work, always you got appointments. So it's one of it. But God knows. I don't cut all short all his weight, but he knows. The book of God is a book of Luke. 12 from this one. Meantime, when a crowd of many thousands has gathered so that they were trampling on one another, because wherever Jesus Christ heal and deliver, people will join. And once they join and follow him, the crowd increased. That's why he used to feed them, all of them, because they were getting many and many to the extent that they fell one another. They trampled one another and then jesus began to speak first to his disciples remember he can preach or speak in parables 
to the crowds. And later, he will go and explain the disciples, to the disciples those parables. So Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, saying, Be on guard. Here he was warning them and encouraging them. Who are the disciples? It's me and you. Remember, we, have, we are the descendants and we are the seeds. So we inherit everything. We are the Israelites of the other times. Be on guard, he is telling me and you. Be on guard against the year of the Pharisees, which is hypo, 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 sorry, hypocrisy. Pharisees, they always you know, criticize him, calling him names. You are Belzebub, you are a demon, you are not a child of God. He is. So he's warning them. Because hypocrisy, people who are, they like to do this, to talk like this. There are people, we know them today. They call you names. They reject you. They just hate you. So he says we must be, he's warning us against them. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, no secrets in his eyes, or hidden that will not be made known. Verse 3, what have you said in dark will be heard in daylight, and what you have whispered in the ear, in the inner rooms, will be proclaimed from the proofs, meaning that there's no secret in his eyes. That is why when I preach, people of grace, I said, he knows what you eat, where you go, what you will say, pray you even say before you pray. So that's why when we come to him, we, come, we must come to him clean, in a clean heart, and tell him, speak with him what is bothering you, so that you can be a true child of him. Because if I said, mm -mm, I'm a married woman, I give example. While he's at the work, this husband, let me run quickly and go and, and a date with uh, the one that loves him more than him, because more than him, because he won't see, he won't know. But we must bear in mind that the one in heaven can see that adult, adulterous practices and lust that that spirit. You must ask yourself why I'm behaving like this all of a sudden. It's not you. That evil, wicked one. Is trying now to destroy family and marriages. He's warning us that whatever we do in the dark, the light is there to see, to expose. Because Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, they, they are like x-rays. They scan, you know, when it moves, when you enter airport and wherever, it will scan and move and show even the smallest dot of a mental tablet that someone has swallowed. So that's what Jesus Christ is doing. He's talking about Verse 4, I tell you, my friends, who are his friends? According to the same book of Luke and Matthew, the friends, he says, they are the ones that pray with me. They are my family and my friends. So he's speaking with us because we pray with him and we follow him. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body. And after that, can do no more. Once they kill the body, who's that? Who kill the body. It's Satan. You are a spirit living in a physical body. When darkness kills, they kill the, the body, the flesh. So he says, Don't be afraid. Please do not be afraid of this one. But be afraid. Be afraid of those. Sorry. I tell you, my friends. <laughs> Sorry, I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body. And after that, they cannot do no more. Verse 5. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear whom after your body has been killed, has been given authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, he emphasized. Fear him. Why was busy emphasis? Because of these uh, Pharisees. 
because they always reject. Put all the negative words to the crowd that Jesus Christ were following. They are putting those negative words to you since you pray. She thinks it's best. I always say, holy, holy, fire, fire, but we don't know the, the fruits. Don't fear those that are Pharisees. Those things happened to our father. Now it's happening to you because of the light and what you bear in your forehead. They will never do you. Do not ever be afraid of mere mortals. You are a child of God. You who is listening. You who has been called. You are, will never be afraid. Even death, when you look at it, you shall witness it, witness it according to the book of Psalm 91. But it will never harm you. You will feel the pain and take the blessing. You will never die. Because you are, you are both. You are not one. That is why I say, fear those who kill the body. But you, because you are double barrel, there is something that shook darkness inside your heart. There is something that is operating in you, in your heart, that the enemy cannot take it. And no one will take your anointing. No one will take your Holy Spirit that God gave it to you. Do not be fear. Let them call you names. Let them criticize you. But you don't belong here. You belong in the other realm. Shit. The other realm of heaven. They can criticize and call you your names. Hey, hey, she do this, she do this. Who are they to criticize you? Fear not. You are a child of God. That is why the hearing there in my Bible says warning and encouragement. He encourages you and he warn you. So take note while you read it. It's a short verse in the book of Luke 12 from verse 1 to 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 verse 11. So he says, We must fear. Do not. You must fear your papa, who, when you are dead, will take your body and throw it in the hell to burn. And while it burns, while it burns, your spirit is rejoicing with him in his throne. So he says, We must fear only him, not a mortal, mere mortals. No. What will a human being do to you? Nothing. And call, call your names and put traps and do whatever and try to block you. It shall never work in Jesus' name. The time, Father God, will release and perfect your time. No one will steal it from you or block it from you. We must fear him because when we do sin, we run to him and say, Father, I've sinned. Not we don't fear a, a other any a Belzebub or old Satan and his agent. No, we don't care about him. He can keep on piercing you and destroy you and so that you can follow him and say there's no God. He will never kill you. You are a child of God. You belong to heaven. Resist him. And then he give example. Yes, I tell you, fear him, meaning our father. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Sparrows, you know those birds that they sell, and then the Israelites in that time you cook it, it's like a, a wild a, a, a chicken meat. Mm. He says, Isn't it sold for two pennies? Mm. Yet non no yet yet not one of them is forgotten forgotten by God. So, Father God is not forgetting you. Indeed, the very hair of your head are all numbered. He knows. Do not be afraid, he emphasized. You are worth more than many sparrows. Father Jesus Christ and God, they know everything. That Father God, he says, I'm not coming back because I want, I'm giving you a chance always to change. Yes, we'll see the first rapture and see whatever. But he says, I'm giving you extra time because I love you. I want you to change, move from dark, repent and get the light. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Verse 8, I tell you, Whoever publicly acknowledge me before me, the Son of Man, the Son of Man will also acknowledge before the angels of God. If you don't hide who you are, remember, uh, people of Christ, not any every Christian is like you. I 
other Christians. They live their lives. And then they will, they will say, Ah, oh, I'm Zalwan, oh, Christian, uh, 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 Papa, Mfundisi, how are you? And then the person, I'm not Mfundisi. Because by then he's having a girlfriend working with him. Then for the God says, if you do that, even in my father, I'll say, I don't know you. Go away, away from you, me, you Satan. Hmm? Because you hide him. Or when you know that you attend two different churches, you don't want the other church to know that you attend that other one. He says, do that I will also no acknowledge, not acknowledge in front of my father. But me now, I'm content because I know the one that follow Mama Ruth in the big ship. We sail. We are sailing. And we are possessing like last year. And no one will stop us. And we know who we are. Yes, God bless you. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But anyone who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will be not forgiven. Blasphemy the Holy Spirit. There's no Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is how the Christian does. Yeah, yes, it's when they blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I mean, I believe only in my ancestors and God. Yeah, how can you do that? How can you serve two masters and please them? The one will be falling down. The one will be up. Period. The last verse 11. When you are brought before synagogues, rulers, and authorities, do not worry about how you will defend yourself. What will you say? For the Holy Spirit will teach you at the time, at that time, what you should say. This is a repetition. If you're in that book of Matthew, when he chose his disciples, he told them the same thing. When you are taken to the synagogue and they persecute you, cheer up. When you, do, you don't know what to say. When he sent them out today to go and preach, he said, they will persecute you. They will brought you in the synagogues. And then they will do the way they pro prosecute him. They will prosecute them. He was preparing them after he chose them. Bo James, Bo Andrew, Bo Peter. And then he prepared them that they will hate me. They will take you to the synagogues. And they will persecute you. So cheer up. Because what they did, they will also, they also did it to me. And your father, when they do this, in the book of Luke, I think, hey, there is a book of Luke. Because when they did this, they will also, when they judge you and persecute you, don't answer. And then you will answer what? Father will tell you. The answer will be coming from God the way you'll answer them. So don't answer them. You just keep quiet and look at them. Mm. It's after he chose them. After Jesus Christ chose them, elected them, the twelve, and sent them out today and give them uh, instructions. Or to go and enter in every village and where they don't uh, accept them, he must uh, remove the dust in their shoes and peace will go with them because they didn't allow them to stay there to preach his way. And he says, you'll be flogged. He was telling them, you'll be flogged. They will do one, two, three to you and persecute you. But don't mind. When they persecute you, don't answer in front of those synagogues. 
because the Pharisees will be them. The, the way they were busy persecuting him and calling names and calling him to ask questions and always wisdom was coming to answer them because that wisdom was coming from his father. Every answer that Jesus Christ was answering these Pharisees, this uh, uh, process, uh, uh, he was answering them because Jesus, a uh, God, the Father was giving them him, him answers. So he's repeating here. So when they're busy calling you names, child of God, because you have been chosen, yeah, this and this, you think it's best, hey, hey, other family members, you know, we are tired of her, hey, always it's all goes fire, 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 but she's not working, or she doesn't get married, or her children are sick, but you are busy making fire, 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 and all this stuff. Don't answer them. Look at them. And you go inside and tell your father. Your father is the judge. He will judge them. God bless you when you read the script of Luke 12. May God bless you. You will read from this one and you will read the one until uh, one until one until verse uh, 11. Yes. And God will continue to be with you because God is still God. And he will never change. Luke 12, verse 1 to 11. Read it. And you can repeat it even later. God is with you. And God bless you. You are highly favored. Do not ever forget that. And you are loved by him. That is why he's encouraging you. Because you won't believe I was speaking with my sister. While speaking with my sister. In my heart, I'm listening to her. I'm telling her that, oh... Today, I'm late, a little bit late to do the work of God. And then, Holy Spirit, because he's wise, he, and then he knows that I won't do the work without asking the verse, the script, where to, what to preach about. I'm speaking with my sister, and then they give me a script right in my heart. So the more we love him and read the word, that is what will happen to you. You'll be directed to read here. Do this. Pray. That one, it comes when you meditate. You read the word and pray and talk to him. When you are tired, Father, I'm tired. Protect me. I'm pressed down. I know your hand is with me. I know when I'm weak, you are with me. By doing that, you impress him. He, your father become impressed that you depend to him in everything. That's what he likes. He likes. That's how it impresses him. God bless you. Let's pray. It's a, a daily devotion. Let's pray and our Father will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we adore you. Father, we thank you for the love and grace. Father, we'll pray unto you and tell you and cry to you and weep every day. And ask you, Holy Father, that Father, when you bless and release blessings, any kind of blessings, Remember your children. Remember their names in the mighty name of Jesus. You have written their names in your every book. Father, so bless them, O Lord. Bless them, Holy Father. Bless them, King of Kings. You know their cries. You know what they are seeking in their heart. Bless them and release, Lord. Release and bless them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are crying. Their body is weak, very weak, because of pains in the body. Oh, Holy One. Heal them, Holy Father. Heal them, their pains, Lord. Put darkness and Satan into shame. He is the enemy. Holy Father. Bless them, Ebenezer. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, people of Christ. Bless them, King of Glory. Give them strength, Holy One. The pain is to be silenced. Their heart desire, Lord. You know them, their heart desires. What they seek, what they envy. Holy Father, do not miss even one of your sheep. These sheep, you dedicate them to me. They are your sheep. You told me. 
When I start, Lord, you say, shepherd my sheep. I honor you, Father. Do not miss their heart desires. Release it to them, Lord. Bless them, King of glory. While the anointing flow. While the anointing flow. While power to overcome darkness flow. Oh, Holy One. Those challenges that are facing in the houses. Let it pass by your resurrection power. Let it pass by the will and power for heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father. Others are waiting. For to solve problems and challenges over the weekend. Others are traps and the darts of darkness. That are waiting to pierce them over the weekend. Devil is fighting them. Oh Holy Father. Bring protection Father. Protect them, Holy Father, to fight darkness there. Continue to command your angels and charge them, Lord, to fight for them. And to unify their powers. Others are brought, busy preparing that they will feed them. So that they mustn't, Father, get what belongs to them. I resist any hand, any curse. That has been prepared by darkness and contrary spirit. By the enemies this weekend. That they will be cursing them. My father, I will repeat it again. My king of glory. Any wicked altar. Wicked mouth of curses. That are busy preparing to curse them. Wicked evil hand. To release all the arrows. Let it be broken. I cut it. Let it be disconnected by the powerful of ghost. Be disconnected by the staff of Moses. I break and release them. I disconnect it. I render it powerless. Before it is released. In Jesus mighty name. Protect them holy one. Where they will be walking. Where, where they will be touching. Father, protect them from the snare of the enemy. When curses are cast, let it go back to the sender. Let it go back and destroy the sender. Let it go back and destroy the sender. Whether they curse their children, their children, or whether they curse them, oh Father, destroy and uproot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, destroy and curse it and break it loose. You curse a fish tree. Father, it dry up and wither. Curse those who curse your children. And bless your children again, Lord. All the children that are preparing to go to school. Any blockage. And the evil voice spoken about uh, against them. Be silenced. Evil, wicked. Curses. Spoken against them. Be silenced by the path of ghost in Jesus' mighty name. The light of God to the children, the light of God to the families. No evil link of darkness and chain connected to their mothers that will affect the children. I break and scatter and divide by the hand of God, the thing of God. Perfection. I perfect. I perfect. I release power to be for them to be victorious. Victorious. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless them Lord and their children. Soak them with the blood. Protect them further the whole weekend. When they go to their different churches. Arise and protect them Lord. Eyes to see. Eyes to see. Receive eyes like an eagle. To see in the realm. Eyes to see. To overcome in the realm. Eyes to see. In the other kingdom Lord. To see a demon and to learn to say no in Jesus' mighty name. Bless them, Lord. Bless them for me and protect them, Holy One. In Jesus' mighty name, was prayed. You are blessed. You are protected. No evil arrow, no wicked darkness that shall come and fall upon you. You will witness them. When they fall on the right or whatever side, you will witness them. You will never be armed. You and your family. I declare by the power of the Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom and amen. Be blessed. I love you. And God love you. Emmanuel.